Good morning, Trailblazers, and happy Wednesday. Welcome to today's game plan video. We are counting down the days, guys. We are almost at the end. Oh my gosh, it's getting really close. Please don't quit. Please don't give up. I've been hearing from all sorts of people the last few days. I fell behind. The world's going to end. I don't know what's going on. Calm. Breathe. Take a deep breath. So, first, I'm going to talk to my people that have been keeping up all along because they're going to just stop the video and not watch the end. Those of you that have been keeping up all along, you're doing great, guys. So great. You're doing awesome. Yeah, that's about all I got. Um, though... There are a lot of people that have not done great. So, if you're caught up, stop the video. You don't need to watch the rest. If you're not, this is for you. Guys, there is a price to pay when you have not kept up. And I'm sorry, um, that's ugly of me to just put it out there like that. But I'm just, I'm ready to drop some truth bombs on you guys. If you have not been keeping up with e-learning, it's gonna be really, really hard to catch up. It just is. That's not to say that it's impossible. It is still possible. You can still do it. It is still possible, but y'all better put on your big boy pants and your big girl pants, because it's gonna be really hard, really challenging. You're gonna to have to do several days worth of work in one day. You're gonna to have to read multiple chapters at a time, and I'm sorry, that is the price that is that has to be paid for the number of days that you took off and just didn't. And I know why some of you didn't. You've sent me all sorts of reasons. And the reality is I, as a human being, feel bad. I love you. I support you. But me as a teacher, me as an employee of the state of North Carolina, says it doesn't matter. What matters is do you get it done by June 6th? The last day of new assignments is the 28th. So that means you have almost a week to get caught up after everybody else will be done. So those people that watched the first half of the video and then stopped because they were caught up, they're done on May 28th. They have no more school after that because they're gonna get the free time days that you guys already took early. They're done with school, but you're not. And that's okay because I'll still be working. I'll still be here. I am here to support you. I'm here to back you up. Okay, but I, I can't see your face. I don't know that you're struggling if you don't say, hey, I need help. I've talked to a lot of you in the last few days. So it depends on who it is. I may call you, I may video chat with you, I may email you. Whatever is gonna help you get your life together and back on track, okay? I don't want to pretend it's gonna be easy. It's hard work, but anything worth having is hard work okay get it together get it together i love you so much but get it together please pretty please okay um i've got all sorts of resources available if you have questions let me know but again i can't see the confused look on your face because some of you sit in class and you're like huh and I know you have no idea what's going on, and I know you don't understand the directions, but I can't see you. You have to tell me. And I know for some of you, that communication piece is a little tricky, but you've got to do it, okay? I love you, but you've got to do it. I am happy to make to-do lists. I am happy to sit next to you and hold your hand virtually, okay? Can't do it in real life. But I'm here for you, and I'm trying to help you as best I know how to. Right, but you're about to be in seventh grade. And if we were face to face, what I'd be telling you is that at the end of sixth grade, beginning of seventh grade, it's time for you to take ownership of your own actions. It's not mommy or daddy who's deciding whether or not you're getting your work done. It's not mommy or daddy who's saying, hey, did you turn in your homework? Like, yeah, a lot of your moms and dads are doing that, but it's not their job anymore. You are getting too old to do that. We haven't been in school face-to-face -face in a while. You're gonna have to grow up a little bit faster. And I'm sorry, that stinks. Like, that's really awful and I hate that for you because you're having to grow up faster than everybody else. But truth bomb, 
this is the world we live in now. And I know that people are like, oh, it's going to be great and everyone's going to be positive and everything will get back to normal. It'll get back to a normal, but I'm here to tell you guys things are not going to be the same. You can't change the fact that we've all been sitting at home for months. You can't change the fact that for months we've been interacting in this super awkward, weird digital space. Like this is part of our history and part of our lives now. It's going to change who we are moving forward. So take that into your heart. Really think about it. This event is going to change people. How is it going to change you? Because you're the one that gets to decide that. Okay, I'm done preaching now. Get off my soapbox. But seriously, you guys can do it. I believe in you. I wouldn't be doing this and saying this if I didn't mean it. Because you know me. I'm not going to waste my time on, oh, it'll be fine, sweetheart. Pat, pat, pat. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. It's going to be hard. You're going to have to put in the work. But I am here to back you up when you're ready to do that. So, let me know. Love you. Be brilliant.